Hi, I'm Mary Norris, sometimes known as the Comma Queen, and today we're going to learn the difference between who and whom. You may have heard a song that's called, Who Can I Turn To? Who can I turn to? Needs me. It's all we need. <laughs> okay, so who can I turn to? Believe it or not, that should be whom can I turn to? If you can imagine that song being any worse than it already is. Who and whom are relative pronouns. They don't have any gender or number except from its context in the sentence. So how do you determine whether it should be who or whom? The trick is to turn the clause or the sentence around and see what sounds right. You don't even really have to know the grammar. But I'm gonna tell it to you anyway. The subject of the sentence will be in the subjective case and anything that is an object, a direct object, an indirect object, or the object of a preposition will be in the objective case. Pretty clear, right? Pronouns in the subjective case are I, you, he, she, it, we, you, and they. And those would all be replaced by who. Pronouns in the objective case are me, you, him, her, it, us, you, and them. All of those would be replaced by whom. So the way to turn the clause around is just to put a personal pronoun in place of the who or whom. In the case of this lovely song, who can I turn to? I can turn to her, or I can turn to him, or I can turn to them or he can turn to me, whatever. The point there is that those are the objective pronouns. You would never say, I can turn to he. So if you're going to have to say, I can turn to her, then when you turn it around, you have to ask, whom can I, can I turn, turn to? to? Because whom is the one that replaces her or him. Of course, it would be ridiculous to expect a songwriter to make the lyric, whom can I turn to? So, in songs or in general in conversation, if you don't know whether it should be who or whom, err on the side of who. It's better to be casual and use who than it is to be super wrong using whom when it ought to be who. We're going to turn now to an actual sentence from The New Yorker. Early and late in his career, Matisse pursued a double dream of Arcadian sensuality and ordinary contentment. A bourgeois paganism fit for the tired businessman. Who or whom? He once said was his ideal viewer. How would you turn the sentence around to figure out how to fill it in? Fit for the tired businessman. Who or whom he once said was his ideal viewer. He once said him was his ideal viewer? I don't think so. It's he once said he was his ideal viewer. Therefore, it should be who he once said was his ideal viewer. So it is easy. I'm telling you, it's easy. <laughs> now let's sharpen some pencils.